Hello everyone and welcome back to Lavellius Coloring. How are you all doing? I do hope that you are all doing very well, keeping safe and healthy. I know it's been a while since my last video. I just haven't been feeling well with allergies hitting me hard this season and this past week has been very chaotic. I haven't really been having any time alone to do videos and also you know with our water heater broken for the past week um, we've just been trying to get the area ready for them to replace it and hopefully it'll be done by tomorrow but anyways like I said <laughs> I've been trying to record especially this video because the very very lovely Natalie she sent me another happy mail of books that you know I don't actually have in my collection there are books that were doubles that she had or books that she didn't see herself coloring in anymore and then so she also had some amazon mishaps where she had doubles and she asked me if i was interested in them so you know of course i said yes so i am very excited to share with you uh the books and supplies she sent me so i'm gonna go ahead and get started with the card that she sent me that she colored so let me go ahead and move this aside So this is the card that she sent me. She actually colored this in. Um, I can't read who the illustrator is, but it looks so beautifully colored. It's like it's stamped on, but she colored it in with Prismacolor. And then I believe she added um, Wink of Stella. I'm not sure. Some kind of sparkle there. And I wonder if she added glaze to the eyeballs. But yeah, really love this card. I really love how she colored it. The turquoise and pink fish is just so cute. Then yeah, she also gave me this really cute envelope to go with it. I couldn't, I didn't want to uh, rip it open. So I cut the side just so I wouldn't rip the stickers just so cute so yeah so thank you so much natalie for this beautiful card and also for the supply uh, the coloring books which i'll probably say thank you again so yeah so this is the lovely card that she gave me i'll go ahead and put this aside so i want to share first these two that were sent by natalie she uh, actually received two of each by accident through Amazon so she asked me if I was interested in getting the, her doubles and of course I said yes because these two were also on, on my wish list and so I'll start off with the Air Awakens so the Air Awakens coloring book is illustrated by Elise Kova who's also the author of the series I actually read the first book but haven't read the rest of the series yet there are also two other illustrators which is Albert um, Wijaya from Indonesia, then also Marilisa Chan from Manila, Philippines. But this book, the paper is pretty thin. Um, I don't know if it's the Amazon printed paper, but you can see that you can really see through the <laughs> page already to the next one and then you'll see like there's a blurb and then there's an illustration then you can already see the blurb in the next page but I really love how the illustration looks like really fine lines sketchy art nouveau-ish it's beautiful but as you can see the image is off to the right and I don't mind that because right now I'm not I'm thinking of not coloring in this book but rather copying it onto cardstock so having the illustration off to the right makes it easier for me to copy it um, on the printer so yeah so it goes through I think only the first series of the book which is Air Awakens because there are three different series 
But again, gorgeous illustrations. Again, Art Nouveau. Wonderful book. A lot of pages too. I'm not sure how many, but again, you know, because you have the little um, little saying from the book, and then you have the illustration. So, yeah, wonderful coloring book. So this is the Air Awakens by Elise Kova. So this is the Crayola Signature Pearlescent Cream Sticks. I already opened it, but. Um, Natalie, she swatched it for me. So this is how the sticks look like. The glare. And then she did a swatching of it. So that you can see it's pearlescent. And I plan to try these out in one of the books that she sent me. And I'll let you know which one of those books are so you can see let me pick out the orange one so the one with the cap here is the one that you want to pull open i think they're supposed to be like gelatos so you can twist it and then twist it back in like the lipstick but i don't have gelatos so uh this is going to be fun to try out really excited but this is the colors i think uh, 10 colors yeah it's just really fun pearlescent sticks to try out for background is what i'm going to use it for you can either use it dry or wet that's what it says and then yeah so we'll see We'll see how that one goes. So this is the pearlescent cream sticks from Crayola Signature. So Natalie also sent some stuff for my youngest uh, kids. She sent crayons that has a cat with sneakers. It's really cute. I don't know what it says. It says Judith K. Kleban in the bottom, which I think is also, that's who the illustrator is of the card that she <laughs> colored for me. So cute. So yeah, so crayons for Mason. And then she thought this would be a great book for him to color in. This is the Perfect Cat coloring book. This is by Sarah Musio. She said that she really loved the illustrator, but um, I think she wasn't really that fond of the book, so she thought it would be a great book for Mason to color in. And it's like the, the cats all have designs on them, but the flowers don't, so... For me, like if I were to color it, I would just color it in and just ignore the designs on the cats. But it's hard not to when you look at it. This one's cute. <laughs> but yeah, so this is the Perfect Cat Coloring Book by Sarah Musio. Then she also sent me two Russian books that were, uh, she I believe she got this as a gift from a seller on Etsy uh, with her purchase. And she thought these would be fun books for my kids to color in. These are double-sided books. So this one, I'm not sure what it says, but I'm thinking dragons or fantasy themed books. Very cute. I don't know. I might want to color in it too. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah. So this is the one with dragons on it, and then I believe this is like an underwater one. Looks like mermaids. Yeah. This kind of looks like uh, Ariel and Flounder. 
So this one, I probably want to color in this too. So I'll share it with my son. We'll see. Maybe he'll let me color the mermaids and he can color the fishies. Very cute. So these are the two Russian coloring books. And yeah, put these ones aside. Next one is Disney Sum Sum. Let me see if I can just bring you in closer. So it says Disney Sum Sum Le Carré de Art Therapy. This is by Hatchet Heroes. I love Sum Sum. I love Disney. So <laughs> I really love this book. It's a lot of like wallpaper, um, simple designs, I'm thinking. And I really I already have a page picked out to do in here. But yeah, a lot of the French colorists that's uh, colored in this book use watercolor. So I am going to see about using the Crayola Signature Pearlescent sticks in here. And the page I picked out to color is this one for Mickey Mouse's birthday on the 18th. So hopefully, um, if you're on Instagram, you probably see this. Hopefully posted <laughs> on his birthday. But that's this is the page I plan to do. So cute. No Buzz Lightyear. Super cute book. So this is also a small size book. So this is a seven by seven book. So pretty small, but it's good size, so you can finish up the page pretty quickly. But yeah, so this is Disney Sum Sum, uh, the Carré the Art Therapy by Hatchet Heroes. The next one is another seven by seven sized book. This is um, Sirens. I'm thinking mermaids, um, and these are illustrate original illustrations, and. They are by Kathy Delance. And again, these are uh, each of the illustrations is like different. They're not all the same, but they're by the same illustrator. See, this is like a wallpaper of mermaids. The styles differ as you look through each page. It's like an Egyptian kind of looking uh, mermaid. I already have a page picked out uh, for when I do decide to color in here, which is this one. I'm not sure if I'll be able to color it this month, but this is a page that I picked out to color first. Uh, and here's the Japanese uh, style mermaid. Very, very pretty. Another wallpaper. It's a different, different styles, but they're all by the same illustrator. Okay. So this is Sirens, uh, Le Carré de Art Therapy, and this is illustrations by um, Kathy Delance. The next book is, sorry, Glare, The Coloring Collective Magic and Witchcraft Volume 1. This is by Kelly Horton, an adult fantasy coloring book. And I've never seen this book before, but this one, I'm not sure how many illustrations there are, there are in here. Let's see. The book belongs to page. So here's a grayscale image, the witch and a cat. So this one comes with the grayscale, and then you have the line art. So that's how each page is. So you have grayscale and the line art. Natalie did pick out a page and asked me, you know, if I can, if I would color this. She picked this out as something. 
that one might be interested to color and it is a beautiful illustration I can actually kind of picture what I want to do in here I want to copy it onto cardstock is just what I do for you know like these uh, Amazon printed kinds of books you can see very fine line art The bunny and wolf, the hummingbird. Gorgeous illustration. Very beautiful. Okay, so this is Magic and Witchcraft, Volume 1 by Kelly Horton. The next book is a Dover coloring book. This one is Manga Girls, and this is by Mark Schmitz. It also has a bonus of how to draw manga pages. I'm thinking not pages, but um, like girls or animals and stuff. But the Dover, these kind of Dover books are double-sided. And it says there are 46 images manga style. And this paper is actually pretty good. Nice paper. I wouldn't mind coloring in here. But there's like different themes. <laughs> it's like fantasy, it's like a comic kind of grid there. Cowboys and pirates. I'm just skipping through. Magicians and fairies. Uh, beach volleyball and skiing, like total opposite. There's a baseball. A unicorn, and then of course how to draw at the end. And then you also have a mouse and a cat and a teddy. Really, really super cute kawaii book. So again, this is Manga Girls by Dark oh, Mark Schmitz. The next book is very, I think it's a very interesting cover. Look at that. It's called Mori Myth Coloring Book. And this is by Yon Su, H-S-U. And yes, I don't know if this is, oh, it is um, Create Space. So you can, you should be able to find this on Amazon maybe? A very, very intricate, intricate line art, artwork. Look at this. This is beautiful. There's an owl. Kind of looks like it's wearing a samurai hat. <laughs> but, um, yeah, and then it has little sayings over here for each of the page very intricate another butterfly beautiful this is uh, the kind of artwork or illustrations that you want to take your time with. Uh, especially when the details are so, so small. But beautiful, beautiful illustrations. I'm not sure, did it say how many there are? There are 32 illustrations in here. So this is the Mori Myth Coloring Book by Yan Su. The next one is a Jade Summer Coloring Book. This is Fantasy Kids. I actually forgot about this one. <laughs> and it's a really cute book. I like the illustrations in here. Some cute ones in here didn't realize but I think um, this might come with doubles oh 
Oh, that's cute. <laughs> and the griffin. You see, is this double? This mermaid's pretty. But yeah, there's doubles in here. We're seeing this. So yes, yeah, so like catching a star with donuts. Yeah, so this is Jade Summers Fantasy Kids. Super cute. The next book is Mounts One. It's a coloring book by Olga Goloveshkina. Goloveshkina. And I've seen her books, but I've never really went to pick it up or anything. You can see she does like kind of like pointillism along with the line art. I love about the author. But as I was looking through this book, I just thought how interesting it looks. We have cat, horse, a beetle, the like bejeweled beetle. <laughs> this is a swan or a duck? Swan? I think it's a swan. Carabao, maybe? Yak. A lion. That'd be me. <laughs> this would be nice to do for Christmas, like a reindeer. Yeah. Yeah, so this book really surprised me because it didn't really catch my eye when I first saw it, like, a long time ago. So, very thankful that she sent this book to me. So, this is... Olga Goloveshkina Mounts One Coloring Book. The next book, I actually have this in my wish list. Actually, I took it out, I think, uh, <laughs> after I received this book from Natalie. And this is a Harry Potter chibi coloring book. So there are different styles, different... Um, kinds of chibis of each of the characters that are in this book. So different styles. There isn't a illustrator mentioned. So here's Hermione. And I believe this is in uh, Create Space paper too. Yeah. Or not Create Space, Amazon. Amazon papers. Hagrid. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> There's all three of them. This would have been better if it was the other way, I think. It would be kind of hard to color this way or just have to break the spine. Here's Ron. Another one. <laughs> it's like they grew up. They got taller. There. Harry. Who is this? Hmm. I don't know who this one is. But yeah, very, very cute and adorable book. So this is Harry Potter Chibi coloring book. The next book is one that's really new to me. Uh, I've never seen this one before. It is called I Don't Know What They Are, I Just Draw These Things, an adult coloring book of otherworldly creations. It has 31 original hand-drawn images and it is illustrated by Fred Von Tobel. And here is the bag, some sample of the illustrations you'll find in this book. And yes. it's so interesting. I like his illustrations, different, it's unique to me. So, <laughs> see, 
fantasy kind of world. I feel like maybe there's a story behind these illustrations. Or you can just make up a story of your own. Yeah, so 31 very awesome illustrations in here. So in the back, they say that there are free coloring pages and 99 cent downloads if you're interested and just visit their website. So here it is if you're interested. And here's a little picture of the artist with his dog from Arizona. So again, this is I don't know what they are. I just draw these things by Fred Von Tobel. The last book I want to share with you is actually a poster book. Yeah, a poster book. This is Cats by Laurie Hasting. It's a Pictura uh, art to collect and color. So these are the ones that you pull out and it's like a long um, cardstock of the poster to color. This is a bigger size. I have the smaller sized one. This one is about 8 by 11 inches. So this one, like the smaller version, you can see that you pull it out. And um, when you're done, you can cut it out. I don't probably can find a frame to uh, put it on. Let me go ahead and so here it is. Very, very detailed. You can see different kinds of cats. If you're familiar with cats, you can probably pinpoint, oops, sorry, which one is which. See so really furry cats, you have kittens. <laughs> you have a cat here that's like cleaning itself, drinking water, stretching, napping. <laughs> I love the face. Here's another one stretching. Right? And then in the back, it gives you tips um, on adding details to your picture, like uh, how to color the fur in the direction you would stroke the cat. So if you're stroking from the head to the back, that's how you want to uh, add the strokes for your pencils for the fur to go that way. And then testing your colors, little uh, tips on coloring it. And then here it gives you um, the whole poster. And then the, each of the cats are numbered and then right down here it tells you the names of the types of cats and a little bit about them like you have Burmese cats, Siamese cat, British short hair, rag dolls, uh, Turkish Angoras, Bombay cats, so all the different kinds of cats which is good for me because I like to color the cat um, close to its uh, natural colors so yes very cute this is my first like big size picture of a book so thank you so much natalie so that is it this is the last one these are all the books that were so kindly sent to me from natalie um, a lot of them I'm familiar with then there's a lot of them that I am not familiar with <laughs> let me just bring this out over here so I'm just so thankful to Natalie for thinking of me to give these books to and to give these uh, air wakens and the pearlescent cream sticks I am so excited to try them out and yeah so thank you thank you so much Natalie I definitely want to dive in and color in these books. I just wish I had more time to color, but you know, um, 
I have many years to play with all of my books. <laughs> They will definitely keep me busy. So I want to thank you all so, so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. I hope you see some books that are also new to you as they are for me. And until next time, please take care. Keep safe and healthy and many happy colorings. Bye-bye. <laughs>